Hey, Steve here, and in this quick play video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. Now, all you need to play this song is A and D and E, and of course, you can change it to whatever key you want. It's a one, four, five, right? One, four, five. So if you'd rather play the one, four, five in G or F, you know, you can change it to whatever key you like. But what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to play this uh, using bar chords, using A and D and E. And the reason I like the bar chords versus the open chords is I can get more of that reggae rhythm by lifting my fingers up and getting those scratches. Right? So you can play this a couple of different things. If we think of it as one, two, three, four. Right? So we have one, two, three, four, one, one. One. And you'll notice that really it's the two and the four. One, two, three, four, one, two. That's getting the emphasis. So when I'm strumming, I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and getting kind of a swing feel. And my emphasis isn't one, three, one, two, ready, and one, two, three. It's not that. It's on the opposites. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You can always add some ups in between and that sort of thing. And you can strum the one, one, two, three, four, right? It's just to get that reggae feel, you want to think about it as being one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And again, you can always strum a little bit more in there. Okay, so when the song begins and we don't sing, it's just A. And then he starts with the chorus, and the chorus just goes from A to D. Don't worry about a thing, because D is going to be all right. Back to A. That's all you do in the choruses. Then when it gets to the verse, you're going to go from A, rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. You go to the five chord, three little birds by my doorstep to the four chord D singing sweet song back to the A melody pure back to the five then he goes to the four this is my message then you go back to the one and then you go back to the chorus and that's all it is okay so it's just you wrapping your brain around the sections and most importantly getting used to that kind of reggae rhythm that swing rhythm but accenting on the two and the four beats. So this is a great one to try and practice. Now, it's not that you can't use open chords. It's just harder to deaden the strings because when you're on a bar chord, as soon as you lift your fingers, the, the sound is gone. Here, the sound keeps going unless you, you know, manipulate them by touching. And that's okay. Play A, D, and E down here would be perfectly fine. But really, to achieve that kind of reggae feel, we want to make sure that we're getting some space between the two and the four. Right, to kind of get that sound. So anyway, take care and practice hard and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, it's Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and I'd like to invite you to get early bird access to claim one of 500 Guitar Zoom golden tickets on Black Friday. Now there are only 500 available and they will sell out, so if you're one of the lucky guitar players who snags a Guitar Zoom golden ticket, you're going to get instant access to every guitar course and masterclass that I've ever created for a huge Black Friday discount. Think of it as a Guitar Zoom all access pass. You're going to get all my courses, masterclasses, jam tracks, tab books, and more. Now there are only 500 available and they will sell out, so click the button near the video to get in on the early bird list and get a one hour head start to claim your Guitar Zoom golden ticket for Black Friday.